Even in the animal world. Yes, sir. Right. A mother animal That's right. will lay down her life for her offspring. Mm -hmm. But it was on the news here last week where there was a mother uh, uh, at a McDonald's and one of the workers walked out back and two of her children were in the bushes out there in the cold and the worker found them. It was a nine-year-old and a four-year-old. They were in the bushes. Their teeth were chattering. The mother was inside eating. My word. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many has waxed cold. Yes. Man. That's right. That's <laughs> there's no tempers. There's no love anymore. That's right. And because there's no love, there is no patience. There is no long suffering. Listen, Three. God is long suffering to us. Three. And I thank God for it. He has been long suffering with me. Yes, sir. In my Three. Christian walk, I've made mistakes. Three. But God was long suffering. Praise the Lord. Amen. He was caring. Yes, sir. Mm -mm. And I thank God for the times that He chastened me. Yes, yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. His chastening, I knew that He loved me. Yes. Amen. Right. If I had made a mistake and he hadn't chastened me, I'd have been in trouble. That's, That's right. right. I'd have been in trouble. The sure, devil sir. would have had help of me. Amen. He would have dragged me on down. Sure. Right. But God was there. God right. had yeah. long suffering and compassion on me. Yes, and he loved me. Amen. He had patience yes. with me. Amen. Yes. Amen. You know, sometimes. I remember Brother Greg preached a message one time on running the red lights of life. <laughs> Where is our patience when we get out on the road? <laughs> I can't stand to get behind a vehicle that speeds up and slows the thing. <laughs> now, if they're going to drive slow, let them drive slow and I'll go around them. If they're going to drive fast, let them go on and get out of my way. <laughs> but if they'll get ahead of me and they'll speed up and I'll pull up behind them and then they'll slow down. Yes. Or sometimes on the four lane, they'll rush around to get around you and then turn off. Yes, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> Lord, give me more patience. <laughs> Sheila says, I have a road rage. I just hadn't got that far. <laughs> but you know, we're losing our patience. We don't oh. have patience. That's right. We need to be more patient. Jesus said, In your patience, you possess yes. your soul. That's right. That's right. Yeah. What did Brother Steve bring out tonight? What is our soul worth? Mm -hmm. If we would gain the whole world That's right. and lose our soul, or what would we give in exchange for our soul? Amen. Yes. Amen. It's in our patience that we possess our soul. Amen. Is that not right? That's what the Lord said. Amen. Amen. The only way that we can retain possession of our souls is to put or give it back to the one who created it. That's right. Give it back in the hands of the Lord. Amen. We give it to Him to lay our very souls on the altar of sacrifice. Amen? That's right. Amen. What did He sacrifice for us? He Amen. gave His life's blood Amen. that we might be saved. Amen. And when we come to an altar and get saved, we give up the world. That's right. Amen. We forsake a life of sin. We forsake the world. But there's something else. We need to be sanctified. We need yes. to go on to perfection Amen. and lay our souls on the altar. Amen. Everything, our life. That's right. Everything. That old self life. Get rid of it. Amen. Lay it on God. Yes. If we're not sanctified, then that old tendency to sin is still there. That's right. Yes. And it'll rise up and slay us. Amen. But we need to have it sanctified. Amen. I believe the old pioneer ministry likened it unto a tree. Sin like a tree. And when it's cut down and the stump is left, it'll sprout up. Mm -hmm. But when we come on to sanctification... You dig the roots of That's right. it. Amen. Get rid of them. Amen. 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 But you got to watch because there may be a little bit left there. 
Paul said, I die daily. That's right. I die daily. Check it every day. Amen. Take an account of your life every day. Amen. And be patient about it. Yes. Good. Put it back in the hands of the Lord. It's His anyway. That's right. What did we read over there? Behold, all souls are mine. All souls are mine. Give it back to the Lord. Amen. Amen. To the one who created it. Put it in His care. Amen. Amen. You know, we're too, we're too impatient with the Lord. That's right. Amen. We're too impatient with the Lord. When we start praying for something, we have a need. We want Him to answer that prayer right now. And if we don't get the answer when we think we ought to get the answer, we get impatient. That's right. When a person comes to an altar to be prayed for for healing, they don't wait on the Lord. They don't wait on the Lord. I mean, people can be prayed for and, and you can have the witness that they have been touched. Amen. But yet, the symptoms may linger for a while. But if we'll be patient enough to uh -huh. trust in the Lord Amen. and to put a rebuke upon Satan yes. Amen. and yes. tell him to take his hands off, we've got the victory. Amen. Then we will receive our healing. Amen. Amen. We need to have more patience. Yes, right. indeed. Amen. Amen. Firm. Praise the Lord. And too many times, too many times when we lose our patience, we get just like the children of Israel over there in Exodus. That's right. Complain. And we start murmuring mm -hmm. and complaining. That's right. But thank God I never was like them and wanted to return to Egypt. Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> Nothing back there to go to. You know, God was so merciful to them. Amen. They were in slavery. Yes. Down there in Egypt. True. Hard bondage. Mm -hmm. And every time they complained to Pharaoh, he increased yes. That's right. That's right. their labor. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, they, they were under hard taskmasters. And God delivered them. Right. Hey, he performed all kinds of miracles against <laughs> the Egyptians right. in their presence. They saw what he did. And God spared them. Amen. To show them that he was and is the true and living God. Amen. And that he is one that can be trusted. Praise and, the Lord. And he led them out of captivity and gave them favor. Yes. With the Egyptians so that they, they gave them their gold and their silver and all their treasures. Mm -hmm. To take with them. My, my. What a mighty God. And then when they got out on the trail, on the, on the trail to the promised land, there was God with them. Amen. You know, over in, in Egypt and in the Middle East, the sun is very hot. And there He was in a pillar of cloud by day. That's right. To protect them. That's right. Not only to separate them from the Egyptians, right. but to shade them. Right. And at night, he was with them in a pillow of fire Amen. Amen. to light the way. That's right. Amen. He was with them. Amen. And yet they murmured and complained. And they got to the Red Sea. And they looked back there and, and they could see the dust of Pharaoh's army. And they, they began to, oh, we're doomed. We're doomed. This is it. They're going to kill us. Would to God we had gone back. Preach it. Listen to it. Murmuring, right. complaining. But God told Moses, you go stand on the rock. Amen. You take care of the rock. And you stretch it out over the sea. And I'm going to do it. You're not going to fight. No. I'm going to fight for it. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to fight your battles for you. Amen. Oh, they needed more patience. Amen. 
Bora, não!